Hi friends, good evening. Welcome to UGC Net Online Free Coaching. This is the last lecture of uh, December 2004 question paper. Today I will discuss question number 41 to 50. In December 2004, 41st question is the main objective of designing various models of a software system is to decrease the cohesion and to increase the coupling to increase the cohesion and to decrease the coupling to increase the coupling only to increase the cohesion only in software engineering we need to know what is cohesion and coupling before looking at this question because same question is repeated four to five times in UGC net and also head exam so it is a very important question first of all we will see what is cohesion and coupling cohesion is a single module or component is the degree to which its responsibilities form a meaningful in it cohesion is a single module or component is the degree to which its responsibilities form a meaningful in it means single in it that's why it is higher cohesion is better but coupling is module or components is there degrees of mutually interdependence low interdependence means what coupling is related to two or more modules cohesion is related to single module so higher the cohesion is better because only one module coupling is related to modules so lower the coupling is better so a first order principle of software architecture is to increase cohesion decrease coupling i hope you understood this question first order principle of software architecture is to increase cohesion and decrease coupling so answer is b to increase the cohesion and decrease the coupling because couplings are in between the modules try to minimize that one cohesions in a single module try to maximize that one so what question 41st question is answer is b next one is 42nd three essential components of a software project plans are now we'll see what are the software project plans first plan is to cost estimation schedule and milestones and personal plan software quality assurance plan configuration management plan project monitoring plan risk management plan so look at the option first one is cost estimation so leave out, uh, strike out the first question it's not a second third fourth all are cost estimation so any of b c d in a one of the question second one is schedule or milestones means time estimation so answer either b or c strike out sec, uh, last option d next one is quality assurance plan personal estimation here personal plan is the third one so option is c three essential components of a software project plans are cost estimation schedule and milestones means time estimation and personal plan these are the three essential components of software project next one is reliability of a software is depends on reliability of a software is depends on number of errors present in the software documentation testing suits development process reliability of a software definitely it is it is depends on number of errors present in the software because reliability of a software how software is error free so definitely direct question the reliability also depends on location of the error in the program all and also a the number of errors present in the software so reliability of a software since it depends on number of errors present in the software so answer is a next one in transform analysis input process is called if you know all, all three you can answer easily input process is portion is related to apparent branch 
output portion is related to apparent branch exclude these two that is central transform so look at first all the definitions first one is the input portion in the data flow diagram includes the process that transform input data from physical to logical form each input portion is called an apparent branch related to input the output portion of a dft transform output data from logical to physical here physical to logical here in uh, apparent logical to physical each output portion is called ap apparent branch apparent branch input portion transform input data from physical to logical this is apparent output portion transform data from physical to uh, sorry logical to physical this is related to out input this is related to output this is physical to logical here logical to physical the remaining portion is of a dft is called central transform the question now look at the question in transform analysis input portion is called definitely option is apparent branch related to input so answer is a i hope you understood this question next one the function point matrix is in software engineering the function point matrix always it is calculated based on user requirements so uh, direct option is option a uh, sometime there is uh, cal uh, calculated from line of code calculated from software complexity assessment these are also a related to function point but matrix is function point matrix is calculated from user point of first first point is user requirements next one line of code and software complexity so function point matrix measured functionality from the user's point of view actually other point of view we have seen option b and d also uh, c also but first point is user point of view that is on the basis of what the user requests and receives in terms that's why the function point matrix is calculated from user re user requirements uh, i hope you understood this one if you have any queries just mail me this is the first i am using uh, in india first time i am using this method no one used no one explained ugc net question papers so if you really like these videos please like share if you don't like just comment what are the uh, any wrong things uh, please i need your suggestions and uh, any uh, related to promotion so please inform your friends if you like like the videos and comment it okay so next question is data mining can be used as a dash tool software tool hardware tool resource tool process tool actually data mining data warehouse and data mining uh, data mining is a tool used can be used as a process tool because in data warehouse we have stored the data but data mining uh, we have used as a process tool this is direct question um, data mining can be used as a analytical process tool uh, simply it is a process tool op option d next one is the processing speed of a pipeline segments are usually the process the processing speed of a pipeline segments are equal actually but usually it is unequal be careful this is a very important question it's somewhat tricky the processing speed of a pipeline segments are usually unequal if you type in a google same question you will get equal but its answer is unequal processing speed of a pipeline segments are equal usually unequal so option is b I refer advance in computers I refer this book advance in computers volume 20 page number 135 in that 
the processing speed of a pipeline segments are usually unequal so option is b it's not a be careful next one is the cost of the parallel processing is primarily determined by in parallel processing major cost is involved related to switching complexity because in a uh, look at in the parallel processing several programs are run at the same time on a unique processor since there is only one processor no two programs executed simultaneously instead part of the program are executed so another part we need to execute so in between we need to switch that's why the switching between part of the program is called context switching so cost of the parallel processing is determined by switching complexity direct question the cost of the parallel processing primarily determined by switching complexity it's not a time complexity circuit complexity in examination you mean in the hurry you may answer time complexity time complexity it is not in a parallel processing it is switching complexity so answer is p 49th question data warehouse is always a subject oriented data warehouse is a subject oriented it is not an object oriented program oriented also a compiler oriented data warehouse is a subject oriented it's a direct question there is no uh, any other alternate way you need to know data warehouse is a subject always subject oriented so option is a a data warehouse is a subject oriented integrated time variant and non volatile collection of a data in support of management decision making system so data warehouse is a subject oriented so option is a last question in december 2004 the term hackers was originally associated with a computer program no virus no because related to person option 3 means first and second option uh, anyone is wrong obviously d is wrong so third one is computer professionals who sold complex computer pro problems this is suitable for 50th question hackers originally associated with computer professionals who solved complex computer problems that is called hacker so option is c so finally we have solved 2000 december 2004 question i hope you enjoyed this uh, ugc net free online lecture series if you like please like if you dislike uh, just press dislike button yeah, if you really useful it is uh, these videos if you useful just inform me just mail me then i will continue otherwise if it is not useful i will not continue because uh, uh, simply wasting your and my time it is not uh, uh, useful so if you like if it is really useful to you just mail me i'll continue i'll solve december 2004 otherwise i'll stop in december 2004 only uh, if you if you want more and more videos just mail me or just uh, inform your friends subscribe the channel i'll continue i'll solve 2005 uh, when you when this video is reaches to 100 views i will make next video 2005 i'll try to solve in uh, june 2005 so please share the videos um thank you for watching if you have any queries any your views just um share with me thank you